Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to do mass analysis for a sinusoidal voltage source. In this case, we have two voltage source connected at two different sides. And we are going to find out the current I0 as per the given question. So to find it, let us assume the mass currents I1 I2 and I3 in all the three masses. Also convert this 100 angle 120 degree into complex form which we can use calculator to calculate. It will be 100 then we have shift angle 120. So this is equal to minus 50 plus 50 root 3 that means minus 50 plus 86.6 minus 50 plus 86.6 j similarly in the other side we have 60 root 60 angle minus 30 degree so i can write 60 angle minus 30 degree which is equal to 51.96 minus 30 J. So these values we are going to use. So let's write for the mesh 1, KVL for mesh 1. So when you write KVL, we have to start from the negative here. So negative means we will take negative of this. So that voltage will be 50 minus 86.6 J. Then we go to 80. So 80 plus 80 and minus J40. Minus J40 into I1. I2 will be in the opposite direction only with minus J40. So we can write minus minus plus j40 into i2 equal to 0 so this is the equation 1 then we can simplify this as 80 minus j40 into i1 plus j40 into i2 equal to we can take them this side minus 50 plus 86.6 J. I will call this equation 1. Then to write the second equation, we have to go to mass 2. So mass 2, KVL will be, I2 is in all these together and the value of this inductor is j60 ohm so total we have for i2 we can write minus j40 plus j60 minus j40 so in this mess we have these three impedance into i2 then I1 will be in the opposite direction here. So I can write plus J40 I1 and here also I3 will be in the opposite direction. So we can write plus J40 I3. So this will be our equation 2 which is equal to 0. Then from the mass 3 We can write this way minus J40 20 is in this mess. So minus J40 plus 20 into I3. Then there is uh, I2 in the opposite direction. So I can write plus J40 into I2. And finally plus. 51.96 minus 30 J. 
we can rearrange this as j40 i2 plus minus j40 plus 20 i3 equal to minus 51.96 plus 30 j so this becomes our equation 3 once we write all the three equation we have to solve using Kramer's rule so let us write these equations in form of matrix so we have i1 i2 i3 three variable so i'll just see the coefficient of i1 i2 and i3 in first equation and write them here coefficient is 80 minus j40 for i1 so i'll write here 80 minus j40 for i2 we have j40 i3 we don't have any so i'll just put 0 from mess 2 i1 is j40 then i2 we have j60 minus j40 minus j40 if we combine them it will be minus j20 so i'll write minus j20 then for i3 we have j40 then for mesh 3 there is no i1 so i'll put 0 over here i2 is j40 i3 is 20 minus j40 so this is our coefficients of i1 i2 and i3 which is equal to the constant term in the right hand side so in first equation we have minus 50 plus 86.6 j in second equation we have none so we will put 0 and in third equation we have minus 51.96 plus 30j so this is the way we write the equations in matrix form so if you take the first row and this column you will get the first equation second row and column you will get the second equation and so on now we have to solve this using Kramer's rule so for solving this using Kramer's rule, we need to find out the determinant determinant of various matrices matrices here this matrix we will call this as delta and we will find the determinant of this matrix as 80 minus j40 j40 0 j40 minus j20 j40 0 j40 20 minus j40 so if we calculate this determinant we will get the delta value another thing we have to calculate here is since we are interested in calculating i2 because once we calculate i2 that will be the current through the inductor which we are interested in calculating so this i naught is nothing but equal to i2 so we are interested in calculating i2 so what we will do here is we will take delta 2 and delta 2 is defined as the middle term which is you no know, i2 is connected with that term alone we are going to change in the column so first column remains same minus j40 j40 and 0 last column also remains same 0 j40 20 minus j40 but the middle column will be equal to the constant terms so middle column is minus 50 plus 86.6 j then 0 and minus 51.6 96 plus 30j so just we have to calculate these two then we can find out the current so to do this calculation 
let's write it in a proper way it will be 80 minus j40 when i am taking the first term here then we need to multiply this and minus this so it will be this multiplied by minus j20 into 20 minus j40 minus j40 into j40 that is the first term then we we'll close the bracket plus j40 will take and from here we will multiply so j40 then into j40 into 0 so 0 minus j40 into 20 minus j40 so this calculation we are going to do for this how we will write because third term will be 0 third term is 0 0 multiplied by anything will be 0 here same thing 80 minus j40 will be the first term then 0 multiplied by this is 0 minus this so 0 minus j40 into minus 51.96 plus 30j then when we take the middle term middle term is minus 50 plus 86.6j and then j40 into 0 is 0 so 0 minus j40 into 20 minus j40 so this will be the calculation so let's do the calculation eighty minus forty I bracket minus twenty I bracket open twenty minus forty I bracket close then minus forty I into 40 i so this we will get as 48000 minus 64000 j then plus let's calculate this 40 i into minus 40 i into 20 minus 40 i so here we will get 32000 minus 64000 j if we combine them together it will be 80000 minus 64 into 2 128000 j so that is our delta value similarly let us calculate this one so i'll edit in this itself here we'll get T minus 40i into minus 40i multiplied by minus 51.96 plus 30i bracket close. So the first term is 179136 plus 118272j. Then we will go for second term. Second term will be minus 50 plus 86.6i multiplied by minus 40i into 20 minus 40i. This is 
प्लस वन फोर नाइन टू एट जीरो माइनस नाइन एट फाइव सिक्स जीरो जे विच इज इक्वल टू प्लस वन सेवन नाइन वन थ्री सिक्स प्लस वन वन एट टू सेवन टू आई so this gives us 328416 plus 19712j so finally we can write i 2 equal to delta 2 by delta which will be equal to delta 2 by delta so this is delta 2 i will divide this by delta delta is 80000 minus 128000 i we have got some value let's convert this into complex polar form so it is 2.17 angle 61.4 degree so this should be the answer which is equal to i not thank you